What's up guys? This is Ivan and welcome to Tactical Playground. So magbibigay ulit kami ng basic troubleshooting tip for airsoft newbies and um, para dun sa mga nagsisimula pa lang magpaklas or magayos ng sarili nilang mga airsoft unit. So the problem that we will discuss is paano pagka kinalabit nyo yung trigger and hindi nag-respond yung unit nyo. There are a number of, of steps that you could check na kayo lang mismo without even bringing it to uh, an airsoft technician. Okay. So number one, check the battery. Um, it's possible na may loose connection lang dun sa terminal lalo na pagka ang gamit nyo pa would be the Tania plugs or looks something like this. Yan. Yan yung stock. Ito yung stock na Tania plug. Okay. Tania plug tawag dyan. These are prone to get uh, really hot and to burn the, uh, the plug itself. Next would be the battery itself. Check nyo yung voltage ng battery nyo. Kung meron kayong battery checker, much better. Check the battery. Baka may problem na yung battery nyo. Maybe one or all of the cells are, are not working properly. Kahit anong kalabit nyo dyan, pwedeng mag-click lang yung, yung motor or pwedeng hindi talaga siya mag-respond. Next, check the fuse. If your units have fuse uh, installed or have a fuse installed in them, check nyo, baka mamaya kasi uh, pumutok na or putol na yung fuse. May, uh, the fuse is there as a safety measure. Okay? Pag nagkaroon ng biglang surge ng kuryente, yun yung unang bigay. So it won't affect, won't damage your motor, it won't have it, uh, damage your switches assembly, and it won't damage your battery. Okay? So check nyo yung fuse. Baka mamaya kailangan lang palitan yung fuse. Next would be the, the motor and its terminal. Ito medyo invasive na to in a way. Yung mga una medyo na invasive yun kasi most of the time nasa labas. Nasa labas yung mga batteries or nasa bond stuff or nasa sa rail na madaling ma-access. So in terms of the motor, you have to access it through the most of the time the grip. This is an example of the motor. So merong mga terminals na nakakabit dito. Ito yun, yung mga terminals na yan. Obviously, red is positive and black is negative. So, it's possible na hindi ito nakakabit sa mga terminals ng motor. Okay? So, ito yun. So, this one is for the negative side and this one is for the positive side. How can I tell? Obviously, red and black. Um, for some motors, makikita nyo dito sa part na to or dito sa part na to yung positive sign. So, that means, kung nasaan yung, positive, yung may symbol na plus sign, yun yung positive side ng motor nyo. Minsan, nandito sa gilid. Okay? So, check nyo, baka hindi nakakunin ito. Last but not the least would be the most invasive um, part that you could check, which is the switch assembly. So, for M4s, it looks like this. Ayan. So, pag wala yung wire, it's just a switch. This is a switch assembly kasi kasama yung mga wires niya. And then, there is another part which is this one. This is what you call the, the switch toggle, I think. Oh, yata. Oh, yata. So, ito yung pinutulak ng trigger para mag-complete yung circuit and mag, uh, mag, magpadaloy ng kuryente from the battery to your motor. Okay? Ito rin yung dinidisconnect ng cut-off lever para gumana yung uh, semi-auto function ng mga units nyo. For AKs and um, other other models of airsoft units, uh, it varies. Okay? For, but for M4 style, basically, uh, version 2 switch assembly lang yan. So, yeah. For AKs and similar models, version 3, for for team 90 and OGS, it's it's different. I don't even know the number, to be honest. But it's different. Okay. So, para ma-check nyo yun, you really have to go inside the gearbox. You really have to open it up. Makita nyo talaga yung, yung wiring, yung toggle, yung contacts. You know. Before going inside the gearbox or before accessing your gearbox, here's what you can do. Okay. So, I have here a model. Yan. So, this is uh, again one of our rental units. Um, okay, so ito hindi sira to. Okay, hindi siya sira. Um, here's what you can do. Switch it to semi and then 
feel nyo yung trigger. Okay? Saksak nyo yung battery. Okay, make sure that uh, mag-chamber clear muna kayo at a safe location. Okay? Para safe. Uh, insert, um, connect, connect the battery and then feel nyo yung trigger. So, normally, pag uh, nag-squeeze kayo ng trigger, merong certain gap between the, the pull and a certain parang wall. Yung wall na yun, that's this part of the toggle. Yan. This one, this one, this one right here. Yan. Yan. Ito to. Yan. 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 Okay? Once nag-squeeze kayo ng trigger, itutulak nyo yung toggle. Okay? Papunta dun sa sa para mag um, connect siya dun sa contact. Pagka nag-squeeze kayo and wala yung wall na yun, and then you can you can squeeze the trigger all throughout and nothing happens. Sabihin, tanggalin muna natin yung model natin. Okay, so heavy. Your gearbox looks like this. Itong part na to is most likely putol. Just like this one. Para saan ba yan? Simple lang naman. This is how your switch assembly would normally look inside your gearbox. And this is the trigger. No, no, no. The, the switch toggle spring. Okay? Meron niyang kinakapitan dito. So, if you'll notice, since wala yung stopper dito sa likod ng toggle, this toggle goes all the way back. Dapat dito lang siya. Diyan. Dapat dyan lang siya. Okay? So, how would it look like with the trigger? Ganyan yung, well, in a way, medyo dapat maging itsura niya. So, the toggle sits in front of this part of the trigger. Yan. Okay? Yan. So, dapat ganyan siya. Pero since putol to, once na ma-squeeze kayo ng trigger at naputol na yung part na yun, sabihin na natin na uh, nag-engage nag siya and then uh, when the cutoff lever releases the, the toggle, naputol yung stopper. So, what happens is this. Ganyan yun. So, kahit anong kalabit nyo dyan, walang circuit na mangyayari. Kasi, this part doesn't reach the contacts. What you could do is buy a new gearbox, a tougher one. Mayroon ng mga branded naman na gearbox, especially yung my personal favorite, which is the, the Lonex brand, or yung Warwolf, or for budget friendly builds, uh, ENC is, is good. Yan. Or um, you can change this into an optical MOSFET. Okay, kasi sa optical MOSFET so optical um, trigger board, wala na to. Okay? Wala na to. Hindi nyo nakakailanganin yan. So, in a way, kung okay pa naman yung gearbox nyo and um, eventually you just, you, you, you'll be planning to upgrade your, your units din naman. Uh, an optical MOSFET is, is, re, is a really good upgrade part. Okay? You should um, include that in your, your parts list for upgrades. So, yan yung cost nun. Kahit anong kalabit nyo dyan, walang mangyayari. Okay? Um, another technique that we do is, uh, yung tinatawag namin na pitikin nyo yung trigger. So, you you flick the, the trigger. Ibig sabihin nun is, ganunin nyo siya para mag-reset yung, yung toggle. Um, pero kung ganito talaga yung problema, kahit anong pitik nyo dyan, hindi talaga siya gagana. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know... If you don't know what I'm saying, um, dalhin nyo yung unit nyo sa uh, kapilala nyo na nag-aayos talaga ng airsoft units. Um, you can bring them to shops or you can send it to us. Um, uh, Mag-schedule lang kayo ng booking through our website at www.tacticalplayground.org May makikita kayo doon na uh, button which, which says schedule a drop-off. Okay, so we're, we're, we're trying to modernize the way our self repairs is being done here. So, yeah, may, may instructions done and all. Right? So, okay, so that's our troubleshooting tip for today. Um, again, if you don't know what you're doing, if you need our help in any way, send us a message through our Facebook page at Ethical Playground. And if you want your units to be upgraded and, and repaired, uh, schedule a drop off uh, through our website at www.tacticalplayground.org. Uh, also, 
please like and subscribe and follow us uh, for more tips and uh, again for 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 uh, any questions that you might have all right so that's it guys thank you so much be safe out there see you guys in the field and remember stay practical be tactical